hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Gugu Bella and um, we get straight to the point on this channel so today we're gonna be talking about castor oil one of my favorite oils of all time like period 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 I love castor oil castor oil is one of my favorite oils for both my hair and my skin because I do make my own body butters and face butters and castor oil is one of my favorite ingredients to add to these whipped butters. Um, side note, yes, I will be launching my own line of organic skin and hair products. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. It will be black owned, vegan, cruelty free, all that goodness. But let's get straight to the point. Let's start with the uses of castor oil for skin. Why do we need to use castor oil for the skin? Well, um, if you are worried about aging, if you're worried about keeping your skin supple and youthful looking, castor oil is a great oil to use because it is specifically good at helping to prevent the formation of wrinkles. And I know that it does this in two ways. The first way is that castor oil actually increases the production of collagen in your skin, which keeps your skin soft and supple. And collagen is also great at keeping the skin hydrated. And then the second way is that castor oil is jam-packed full of antioxidants. And let me be specific here, cold pressed castor oil, which is the castor oil that I use, is really, really rich in antioxidants. And what antioxidants do is that they fight the free radicals in your body that cause aging and wrinkling. So basically, castor oil is a superhero. Another way that castor oil is great for the skin is that it reduces puffiness. You know when you wake up in the morning and your eyes are kind of puffy or when you're tired late at night, get a bit puffy. Castor oil is great for reducing puffiness in the skin, whether it be inflamed pimples or bags under the eyes, you know. This is because castor oil has anti-inflammatory properties. Another way that castor oil is great for the skin is that it actually, contrary to what you might think, it reduces the appearance of acne in a very specific way. Um, I know it's kind of a myth to say that to reduce acne, you gotta wash your face a lot. Although acne can appear for multiple reasons like hormones, puberty, stress levels, basically hormones. There are external factors as well that can lead to acne and one of these ways is through bacteria that actually clogs your pores thus creating acne. So in this way castor oil is extremely effective at reducing um, bacteria caused acne because it has antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. Okay, and the final reason you should use castor oil for your skin, and it's my personal favorite reason, castor oil really does help people with extremely, extremely, now I'm talking about extremely dry skin. Like, I have the driest skin. My skin is like the desert floor. <laughs> my skin literally looks, like if I don't put any product on my skin, no oils, no butters, my skin can get so dry that it look that I look like a reptile. Like I will get scales and it is crazy, which is why I really, really love castor oil because as you can see, there are no scales right now, baby. No scales. <laughs> because listen, um, although scales are beautiful, uh, you do not want scales on your skin because that will obviously just accelerate the aging process of your skin. You want your skin to be moist. You want your skin to be supple. So let's get into the details of how castor oil helps to keep dry skin moisturized, helps to keep dry skin soft, supple, glowing. Yes. <laughs> castor oil is very high in fatty acids. I mean, it's, it's a fat, it's an oil. And fatty acids actually help moisturize the skin, making it soft and supple. Castor oil is also said to have humectant properties, which means it draws moisture from the air back into your skin so that your skin, again, remains hydrated. Okay, let's just, on a side note, I'm using words like moisturize and high and keeping things hydrated. Just to be clear, I know on YouTube, we naturalistas love, love, love saying that water is the ultimate moisturizer and nothing else is a moisturizer. But however, 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 if we're going to go by, mm, I love my green tea. Um, if we're going to go by the scientific terms, technically, Technically, scientifically, moisturizers is an umbrella term for emollients, squalene, occlusives, and humectants. Those are all deemed to be moisturizers in the, I don't know, cosmetic scientific world, okay? Technically, hydrators are 
things like aloe vera and hyaluronic acid please bear with me if i mispronounce that i'm sorry and this acid is actually naturally present in our bodies and is known for its unique ability to retain moisture in the skin. So technically, hydrators are a different thing to moisturizers. Now let's get back to the point. Let's get back to the castor oil. Castor oil is a great moisturizer because castor oil is an emollient. So emollients are ingredients that soothe and soften the skin, which is castor oil. So that means that castor oil is a moisturizer. It is a great moisturizer. It keeps my skin supple and soft and smooth and not scaly for a minimum 24 hours. The moisture that castor oil imparts to the skin lasts all day and I can attest to that. If you want to use emollients like castor oil or shea butter, right, you, I would suggest that when you get out of the shower, do not wet, rub the towel on your skin to get all the, the water off you. I would suggest pat your skin dry to leave some moisture and then apply your body butter or your castor oil on top of that. And that way the castor oil will be the reason why your skin does not dry out because water is not really a moisturizer when it comes to... It's not t water is not technically a skin moisturizer because when you shower you're covered in water right but when you get out the shower when the water evaporates it leaves your skin a drier than the sahara desert okay well at least my skin dries in the sahara desert so you do need to trap that water and you want the water but you want to trap it <laughs> underneath a layer of an emollient or castor oil you know um and that is how castor oil is amazing for the skin and now we're gonna get to hair Let's start with the scalp. Um, it's common knowledge that castor oil is great for the hair and that it's great for hair growth, but let's talk about why, how it's good for that stuff. Let's start with the scalp. Castor oil is, as we said, rich in antioxidants, fatty acids. Castor oil contains ricinoleic acid and omega-6 fatty acids, which are amazing for your scalp. They increase blood circulation and therefore improves hair growth, stimulates hair growth, also makes sure that the hair growing out of your scalp is nourished. Another way castor oil is great for the hair and scalp is that it actually can help those with dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis as well because it does have antifungal and antimicrobial properties. Castor oil is an amazing lubricant which means when you're detangling hair, you can apply castor oil to your hair and it will prevent breakage. Because it's lubricated, the hairs will just slide around each other and the knots will just melt away. <laughs> Provided you have moisturized your hair adequately with water first. Castor oil is an amazing sealant. As soon as I'm done spritzing my hair with my nettle and hibiscus mixture, I apply castor oil to my hair and it is an amazing, it's my favorite sealant. Um, it's my favorite sealant, like period. And not only is it an amazing sealant because it traps the water in my hair shaft, it's also an amazing sealant because it absorbs slowly over time. So it's not like as soon as you apply the water, the castor oil like immediately is soaked in. Like oils like coconut oil for that do that and avocado oil. Avocado oil and coconut to me absorb immediately into my hair. Like there's no time. <laughs> There's no time where it's just relaxing, where the castor, oil the castor oil takes a while to absorb, which means it takes me longer to have to re-moisturize my hair. If, yeah, so castor oil really helps my hair remain moisturized for longer. Coconut oil I use more for pre-pooing, but that's a subject for another time. Castor oil imparts an amazing shine, I don't know if you can see, or a sheen rather. Obviously an amazing shine or sheen to the skin as well, but we're talking about hair now. Um, castor oil is extremely, extremely softening. Like, even for someone like me, whose hair has been said to be steel, wool, and just rough and hard and difficult to manipulate stop touching your hair stop touching your hair and difficult to manipulate castor oil changed the game for me um it really softened my hair i have i've, I've literally i when i first went natural i didn't know my hair like the way i know it now and castor oil has helped me really understand what my hair actually needs i would suggest that you touch my hair to prove my point but sadly you're across the internet and we can't physically touch yet one day technology will get there but we're not there yet but i you know try it for yourself and you will see that castor oil is softening if you have really thick hair strands if you have really hard hair castor oil if you have really frizzy hair really frizzy ends um do not be shy by the way to pile on that castor oil to the ends. do not be shy to drown your ends in castor oil because 
they will love it and finally overall reason why you should use castor oil for hair is because it helps greatly with length retention because it really helps with moisture retention so if you got your moisture retention game strong your length retention retention your length retention will just naturally follow suit like i said earlier castor oil has humectant properties which will draw the moisture to your hair keeping your hair moisturized which then keeps your hair flexible and pliable which then prevents your hair from breaking which in turn all of that adds up to happy healthy hair length retention baby <laughs> so that's all that's what i wanted to say i just want to talk about castor oil for skin and for hair it's one of my favorite oils of all time and i've never really spoken about this oil um specifically on my channel so here it is here's all the info if you need it boom bam bop <laughs> bada bing bop <laughs> but I'm not a rapper. Please subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I am there as well. Um, like this video if you liked it. Um, and also, more, most importantly, share this video with all of your friends and family. Anyone you think might be appreciating this video, send it to them. Like, why not? Cheers, guys. I will see you in the next one.